Hi guys, my name is Marissa and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through how I'm setting up my virtual learning homeschooling area for my kids. For those of you that are new, I have a child that's going into first grade and we have decided that for the first term of school in the fall, we will be selecting the 100% virtual option. My school district has not released yet what the curriculum is going to look like, so we're not entirely sure how much material will be provided by the school and how much we're going to have to come up with on our own. What I'm going to be doing today is just taking you through how I'm organizing all of my school supplies and how I'm setting up an area of my house to try to make it feel a little bit more like a classroom. My house is not very big. I do not have a separate room that I can delegate just to homeschooling. So what we're gonna do, let me turn you around here. I have this, I have this little hutch that's full of just some random decor items. I'm gonna clear all of this out and store the activity books down here. This does have a drawer in it that I've already cleared out. So I'm thinking that this can hold all of the school supplies like crayons and pencils, markers, items like that will be kept in here. If you haven't seen it, I have shared a separate video going over all of the school supplies that I've purchased. I will link that in a card above as well as in the description box down below if you'd like to see a full breakdown of all of the items that we've already purchased with the intent of using for homeschooling slash virtual learning. My living room currently has a dog bed over here. I'm going to move this dog bed to a different part of the house and then create our little homeschooling nook over here. Let me show you what it looks like when it's done. Here is what I came up with. I'm going to do a pan out of the whole little classroom setup. And then I'll go dip through and break down what all we ended up purchasing and how everything's organized. And again, this is a very small space. So just have a living room. We don't have a family room. We don't have a basement in our house. Move the dog bed over here behind the couch. It's definitely going to be tight, but this is kind of what we have to work with. This whiteboard came from Ikea. If I can find something comparable on Amazon, I'll link one down below. It's a chalkboard on one side, it's a whiteboard on the other side, and it fits perfectly in between the piano and the wall here. So when we're not using it, we'll just slide it back into that corner. I mentioned before I have a child that's going into first grade, I asked him what items were important to him to make our home feel more like a classroom. He said a carpet, rug for circle time was something that he thought would help, a little table, and a calendar. All of these items came from Amazon, and anything that I can find links for I'll have in the description box down below. It was important to me that I set up this little table next to an electrical outlet because he's doing virtual learning. There will be several activities that will be on a laptop or a tablet he'll need to use. So I wanted his little table to be near an electrical outlet so that we could plug it in if need be. This little calendar I thought would be fun for circle time. It's pretty big, but it came with a bunch of different little cards that you can stick in, birthdays, holidays, when kids lose teeth. There was a ton of different little cards that came with this calendar. So I'm excited to do that for like a circle time each morning. I also have a son that was going to be in preschool. So I think that every morning we'll try to do some preschool type circle time activities with both of the boys. These letters came from Target. 
This dry erase board is something that I had in the back of, it was attached behind the wall, excuse me, behind the door of my little kid's bedroom. It's magnetic and had different alphabet magnets. So I might bring those out or I might just use this to write on when I'm explaining different things. This table is kind of cool because it has this spot in the middle where I can stick blocks or markers, something to kind of corral if they're working on an assignment, just some of their supplies. This table was designed for kids. It says it's for kids that are between the ages of three and six years old. My child is seven that's going into first grade. And we've already started using this little table and it's perfectly fine for his age as well. He fits perfectly fine on this little chair. And I do think that you could use it if you had kids that were a little older than six. And then this rug, I thought was really cute. It has the alphabet. It's big enough for all three of us to sit on. And I thought that it was nice because it wasn't in primary colors. So I didn't think it would stand out so much with the rest of the decor in my house. Obviously it does look like I have a classroom in the corner of my living room, but I didn't want things that were really vibrant, bright colors. I wanted it to, I mean, obviously this is still our home. So I wanted it to still kind of go with the rest of our decor. This is something that I found from Target and it was only $35 for this whole thing. It came with the bins. I wanna buy some other activities to put in these bins. Currently, I'm just storing some little fake money. We're gonna start working on how money works. This is kind of neat. This is something that I found on Amazon. So you, comes with this board. There's an app that you download on a tablet and it comes with, let me get this open with one hand. It comes with all of these letters inside and it helps kids learn how to read and spell. So there are all of these different letters inside. We haven't set it up yet, so I'm not completely sure how it works, but I saw this as an ad on Facebook and thought that it looked neat and that my kids would think that that was fun and we found this modeling clay that just came from target math cubes is something that my kids have always had in their preschool classrooms and in their elementary school classrooms so this came off of amazon with all of these different activity cards for them to work on each child has their own little tote that I've put markers and colored pencils, pencil in here. They've got crayon, scissors, an eraser, glue, glue stick, pencil sharpener. So that way they're not fighting over supplies. This is a picture of my son's kindergarten class. So I thought that that might be kind of fun for him to have pictures a picture up of his friends from school. In here, I'm just storing extra school supplies. So we've got pencils, markers, colored pencils, crayons, these little pointers that I thought would be cute to use when I'm guiding them in some instruction. I found stickers that were school related to put on their papers. And then down here, just storing kind of the overflow items. So we've got paints. This is all of our dry erase supplies. So I bought these little clocks that are dry erase so they can write down the time. I figured that I would use this to practice writing. Uh, my preschooler writing his name. All of these boards came from the Target Dollar Spot. So I have several of these that I thought would be fun. Activity book that was pretty big. This came from Costco. These are just some sleeves that you can use dry erase markers if we wanna reuse a worksheet. 
Then we've got our activity books in a couple of different bins. I've done an entire school supply haul. So if you wanna get more into detail about what all I've purchased, I have a separate video showing that. But we've got construction paper, ton of different flashcards. These all came from the Target dollar spot. This came from Costco. It's just a preschool puzzle to help work on letters and words that correspond with letters. There's one for colors, there's one for numbers. I think this will be a perfect activity for my preschooler. We've already opened this and he's really enjoying this puzzle. I bought some sight card words for my first grader who's still learning how to read. And then this, I wanted to find a little treasure chest for the kids so that, I don't know if we're gonna have a point system or how exactly we're gonna work it, but this is just full of different fun things for them. So there's all these different erasers. All of these items came from the taller dark Target dollar spot. So I figure maybe at the end of the day, if they've been good, they'll get to pick out a prize. They're really excited about this. So I'm hoping at least for a little bit, this will provide some motivation to stay focused and just keep it kind of fun. And then this is just my teacher overflow supplies. We've got eraser toppers, dry erase. This is just some chalk, extra glue sticks. I'm just going to store it all in here. These are really neat too. From These came from Target as well. Uh, this is just paints, but these I thought were really cool. So you can put paints in the little circles in the top and then their paper can go in here for them to paint and it'll just kind of keep it all corralled and hopefully prevent them from making as big of a mess when they're using paints. My target when I was just there was starting to get a little bit picked over, but they still had a decent assortment of most of these items. So if you haven't checked out the Target dollar spot yet and you're looking for different school supplies, that's definitely a great resource. Here again is what everything looks like. I am trying to find some additional activities to put in these bins. So if you have kids that are preschool, early elementary school age and have ideas or recommendations of things that your children either like or that you intend on using for homeschooling, I thought that it would be fun in the morning for them to just grab a bin and just kind of get into the rhythm of starting the day with something fun. But in addition to the math cubes and maybe this alphabet activity clay, I'm just trying to find some other things that the kids would find fun and would be excited about. So if you've got any ideas, go ahead and comment them down below. Here is what our little virtual learning homeschool at home classroom is going to look like for back to school 2020. If this is something that you found interesting and haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I post videos twice weekly, just giving ideas for working moms, stay at home moms, lifestyle content. I do a lot of what's for dinner videos. So if this is something that you're interested and would like to join my little YouTube community, you can do so by subscribing to my channel using the red subscribe button down below. I hope that all of you are staying happy and healthy. Bye.